Hi everyone, welcome to MCNG Marketing. Uh, today I have some really exciting news to announce. Pinterest recently made some uh, made a change actually that will affect a lot of marketers and will affect a lot of business owners. And if you utilize it properly, I guarantee you you'll be able to get a lot more followers, a lot more repins, and a lot more engagement. So what is this new feature? Let's go over to my Pinterest page and take a look. So if you use the desktop version of Pinterest, um, you'll notice that if you click on your account name, a new feature uh, has now kind of slowly popped up, but was mentioned in Pinterest blog post a few weeks ago, which is the follow boards feature. If you click on it, what Pinterest does now is that they recommend certain boards that you follow. So what will happen is that a screenshot, uh, sorry, a screen will pop up and there'll be a number of boards that you can follow and it's based on what you like, some of it's based on what they feature. If you go to the search function, and this is the really exciting part for marketers, is let's say that I type in a keyword such as Pinterest tips. It will now show me a bunch of boards that are about Pinterest tips and it will rank them in a very specific order. So this is very important. These boards are not displayed at random. They are actually optimized based on the search algorithm that Pinterest has. Uh, something that has been termed PSEO, Pinterest Search Engine Optimization. And what you'll notice is that each of these seems kind of random, uh, but actually they're in a very specific pattern. So I want to kind of go over three factors that really help you rank high for, for Pinterest boards uh, that will help you in getting more followers, getting more VPNs, all that jazz. And the first thing that's very relevant to Pinterest is actually the number of followers. The more followers that your board has, the more relevant Pinterest believes that your content is to actual viewers. That's why you have a lot of followers to begin with, isn't it? The other factor that is really important is also the number of repins that you have on your board. So if you repin a lot and making sure it's really good content, you don't want to just spam stuff just to rank higher because that, that's not going to really good, be good for user engagement. But the number of repins can actually help you rank higher than other people and that's very important. The third thing, which is something that a lot of people are very familiar with already, but it's very good to reiterate, which is to name the boards for search terms that you want to be searched for. So if you currently have a Pinterest board that's about marketing, but it's named Pinterest is cool, well, unfortunately, people aren't really going to be searching for that keyword in, in the search box on the very left-hand side. But if you are wanting to be searched, maybe you want to name your board Pinterest Marketing Tips. And what will happen is that you'll see there's a whole different series of boards that again are about Pinterest marketing tips. So these features are going to be rolled out and they're going to have a really huge impact as more and more people are going to look for boards to follow. They're looking for relevant boards to follow. So again, if you have any questions about Pinterest or if there's something you'd like to know, uh, feel free to visit my website at uh, www.mcngmarketing.com. Uh, feel free to go to the Contact Us page and contact Vincent. And again, if you're looking to find a way to really optimize your pins and your boards, uh, feel free to go to my website and download my new ebook, How to Search Optimize Your Pins and Boards for Pinterest. Uh, you can type in your email there and a book will be delivered to you. So thank you everybody. Happy pinning.